Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the video tutorial for the LSP Angel Wings digital backgrounds. This video tutorial it covers the uh, the chic Angel Wings digital background, floof, and opera. The reason I'm covering all three in the same tutorial is because they have the same kind of layers in the layers panel, so your technique is very very similar. So with, let's get started with chic. So over here in the layers panel, you have a shadow under your subject. You have a place subject here layer, this is in orange, a shadow over your subject, which you can clip on if wanted, I'll show you how to do that. And then you have an over subject layer in red at the top, and this adds um, an extra degree of um, masking on top of your subject, so you can slide them into the digital even easier. And the same with Fluff. Place your subject here is in orange, below this you have shadows, and above this you have shadows to add in um, over your subject or underneath. And then above this you have satin, which will go over your subject's feet. And I'll show you how we do that in a minute. And in opera, you have place your subject here, shadows below and above, as with the others. And above this you have silk layer over the subject, so this will also kind of cover your subject's feet. Really, really handy. So let's get started with adding a subject. First of all, let's go with chic. If you've got one of these other ones um, and you don't want to watch Chic, you can just skip on a little bit until we get to one of these. So make sure you click on the orange layer mask. Come up to File and choose Place Embedded, or you can use the LSP um, Overlay Applicator Actions, and they have a digital background masking section for you that's kind of done for you. But if you're using by hand, come up here to File and choose Place Embedded. And go ahead and locate the image on your computer that you're going to use and you can already see some of this masking's done for you so we can nestle our subject in even though some transparency in this one one of my favorites so i'm just going to bring the opacity down on that subject layer so we can really see where we're putting her if you have a subject that's completely facing forward this one is definitely best for a side subject because you can see the way the wings go you can just go ahead and place it above um, here where it says over subject you can just place it above there if you want to Layers in Photoshop are kind of like layers of tracing paper, so it depends where you nestle this layer in. Once you're happy with the placement of your subject, you can turn the opacity back up, come to Select and choose um, Select Subject if you're in Creative Cloud. If you're in an older version of Photoshop, you're going to need to mask by hand. Plenty of tutorials online show you how to do this, but if not, you come down here, add this layer mask. You do this if you selected your subject too, and this will add a white layer mask. Simply select a black brush to paint away the background like this. So it'll come up with a black background, just your subject showing. You might need to zoom in nice and close just to make sure that you've um, that you've got everything and that there's no strange haloing around the edge of your subject. If there is, get a nice hard black brush and come in there. But we will be blending this a little bit more. Beautiful shot here by Anna Brandt, this subject. Above this you have shadow over the subject. If it's not clipped in, you can right click and choose create a clipping mask if you only want those shadows to affect your subject. I've actually left the clipping mask off on this layer um, because I think you know adding those shadows in underneath is absolutely fine on this one because we have the layer above, but it's entirely up to you if you want to clip that in. Down the bottom here you have add shadows underneath the subject. You can paint to tweak, it already has some masking on this one, but I'm just adding a little bit more um, shading in there. And that's pretty much it. You can of course add your own editing layers to the subject, click on the subject, down here on adjustments, it's a little uh, circle, half and half, and you can add any layer you want, but I do recommend right clicking and choose create a clipping mask. That means it will only affect this layer, not the whole image. I've just added levels, so you can you know, slide these up or down to add some light or dark. Anything you want to add, you can do. That was just an example. So I hope you enjoy compositing with this digital background. I can't wait to see what you do. Please do face it in the LSB Actions editing group on Facebook, because I'd love to see. Uh, disclaimer, as with the other digital backgrounds, these are created part using my own overlays, part using some AI elements. So you will get that you know, classic AI vibe about these um which is everywhere right now and um, i do quite love um but these are resized to print really really big they're big 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 digital backgrounds they'll print wonderfully on canvas 
So let's come over here to Floof, the same technique, make sure you've clicked on place your subject here. File, place embedded, and locate the image on your computer um, of the image you're going to use. Bring the opacity down if you're not using any LSP actions to apply this for you, and resize your subject. In this digital, the light is coming from the right. If the light's coming from the wrong way in your image, that's a dead giveaway for compositing, so you're going to want to right click and choose flip horizontal, just to make sure that light adds up. And you can see here we have this um, satin over the feet is there, so if, if you nestle your subject in, that satin will already be coming over the feet down here. Can you see that? So I'm just going to nestle her in there and bring the opacity back up again. I'm going to go to select subject. If you've skipped on ahead um, and you are using an old version of Photoshop, not Creative Cloud, please um, just nip back a bit in the video and watch this tutorial because I show you how to add a layer mask. Once you've selected subject, come down here and add your layer mask. And you can refine that selection if needed by coming up here to uh, select and select a mask. Or you can zoom in and manually refine by hand using a black brush to hide any areas and a white brush to show. So you can see here I'm just refining some of this transparency in the dress and a little bit around the hair. And what that does, it just makes a nicer selection. So I'm going to delete that layer mask and add another one. So I'd say that it's almost done. I'm just going to uh, refine that selection a little bit around the hair. We do have a little bit of haloing. So I'm just selecting and painting with a black brush, which will slightly come in on the outside of that. It's just added it in a little bit of a nicer selection. But the selection techniques you use really will depend on the image you're adding in. I'm just going to click on the uh, shadow under subject layer here with a white brush and just add a little bit more shading in there under our subject just to bed them in a little. Shadow over the subject the same. This is clipped on so this will only affect your subject. If it's not clipped, right click, choose create a clipping mask and it will just clip it on there for you. So I'm just darkening up a tiny bit and around those feet too. So let's see there before and after. And that's adding a subject into the LSP Floof Angel Wings digital background. Okay, let's go on to Opera, exactly the same technique here. I'm going to come up here to File and choose Place Embedded and we'll locate our image. Uh, let's go for this one here, something a little bit different. So, same technique, I'm going to take the opacity down. Um, I'm going to double check in the image, you can double check, just slide your subject out of the way and see where the light's coming from. You can see here it's coming from the right. So bring your subject in, make sure they're not too teeny but also not too big. You're also going to want to shoot your subject kind of straight on for these wings for best results. Because I'm using Creative Cloud, I'm going to use Select Subject. Again, if you're in um, Elements or create um, older versions of Photoshop, you're going to add a layer mask down here. OK, so right click your layer mask, come up here to Select. Choose Select a Mask, and this way you can refine your selection a little bit better just by coming down here around the side. So we're just refining this selection around the dress. If you've used tool, um, anything fluffy or floaty, you're going to want to refine that selection a little bit more. If you're on an older version of Photoshop, um, you might not have this option, but you can zoom in with a black brush or a white brush and refine it. Next up, we're going to add some shadow to the subject. Using a white brush or a black brush, just to kind of bed them in a little bit more. Just going to paint the subject away from underneath here. Because she's wearing quite dark, I recommend using a, a lighter dress for this image if you have one. It will bed in a little bit better, but I'm just going to lightly stroke around. And also you can come down here on your adjustments and add levels or curves. If anything I'm doing is going over your head, um, you can head over onto YouTube and watch so many videos about compositing. It's a really good way to learn. I've just added a levels layer, clipped in, and I've inverted by Ctrl or Command I to make it black. And I'm just painting this over the subject a little bit, just to blend. Next up, I'm going to go to the shadow under the subject already created for you with a white brush. And I'm just going to use this just to add a little bit of shadowing around the subject. So we're just trying to blend this subject in with the digital background, um, just to kind of, you know, merge as best as possible. On the subject, I may add a curves layer 
just to add a little bit more lightness, Control or Command I to invert, because we don't want it affecting the whole image. So you can grab a white brush and just show this on the areas you want. I'm also going to warm the subject up with a photo filter here, just so she's bedded in even more with that image. So let's see there before and after. Before and after. Of course, the results you get really do depend on the image that you're adding in. Um, so if you can use an image with the, the correct lighting, um, the best kind of pose, it really will help you when it comes to compositing these digital backgrounds. If you own more than one, you can also, once you've added your subject in, you can also select them and drag them over and drop them in. You see here? And just drop them in because you've already done the masking. I'm just right clicking, flipping horizontal so the light matches. And I'm just going to mask off the bottom of the foot. So you can literally just kind of drag and drop your uh, your subject over multiple wings. Once you've got that cut out really easy, just select drag them up and drop. Really, really easy. So I hope you love using these. Uh, lots of techniques covered in this video. So if anything, I said, if anyone went over your head, just take it slowly. Um, if you've got an image that matches the wings um, that you're using in mind, if you're trying to composite a very light background onto a very dark background, for example, the lighting and the editing is going to be a lot harder to blend. So if you can use something um, like this image here, the colours and the tones go really nicely, which meant that was such a quick and easy composite and it looks really nice. So enjoy using these. Um, you can check out the other video tutorials on the LSP Actions website, lsp-actions.com. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.